Hi, what's going on? My name is Anand. In this video, we're going to talk about SMTP routing, which is also known as sender's distribution or sender's rotation. So when we have multiple sending servers connected with an email marketing platform, what we would want to do is we want to distribute our email campaign across different SMTP servers so that we can have a good deliverability. What do I mean by that is, if we go to the sending servers over here, as you can see, we have connected different type of sending servers over here. Number one is a Gmail sending server. Another one is a Mailgun, SparkPost, uh, Amazon SES. So there are a bunch of SMTP servers that has been connected inside sendmails.io and different SMTP servers have different advantages. Like Amazon SES might have a better deliverability as compared to Mailgun API or vice versa. So what you want to do over here is you want to distribute your sending across multiple servers so that you're not putting your load across just one sending server and you can test which of the SMTP server is giving you the best result. Not just that, when you have the sending distribution and rotation in the place, it, it ensures that all your emails are distributed across different IPs as well. And having these multiple IPs in place reduces your chance in landing the spam inbox. And that is why we want to connect at least two sending server with sendmails.io so that we can distribute our email campaign across multiple sending servers. Now, to learn about how do we connect different type of sending server with sendmaze.io, you can check out the playlist below where we have covered about how do we connect different type of sending servers with sendmaze.io. Now, what we are going to do today is we are going to connect these sending servers with list so that the sending distribution can be spread across multiple sending servers. It is very simple to do. All you need to do is just head over to your list, open the list, and this is where you need to choose that specific list where you want to select that sending server or you can create a new list. So here I'm just going to create a new list. Test list. I'm going to put my email over here. I'll put my name over here and I'll put the subject line over here. Now, if you scroll till the bottom here, you will see an option to choose the sending servers, which means we can associate sending servers with a specific list. So for this specific list, we can associate these two sending servers over here, which means now if you're sending 200 emails, then 100 emails are going to be sent with this sending server and another 100 emails are going to be sent with this sending server. If you're sending 10,000 emails, then 5,000 emails are going to be sent with this sending server and 5,000 is going to be sent with this sending server. If we add more, then you can divide that by three and this is going to be distributed across all three sending servers over here. So I'm just going to click on save and that's how you can connect multiple sending servers with one specific list so that you can have the sending distribution advantage to ensure that you land in the primary inbox and reduce your chances landing in the spam inbox. That's it for today. If you have any question about this, drop it down in the comment below. I'll be happy to answer and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.